Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a zombie AI in Unreal Engine 5.7. It should work on 5.6 as well. By the end of this tutorial, you will have an AI that finds a random location and moves towards it. Also, when it sees the player starts following it, and if it reaches the player, it would do an attack animation. Unfortunately, the attack animation is not gonna be functional, just letting you guys know. For that, you would have to check out my advanced combat system tutorial or simple combat system tutorial. I'll have them linked down in the description. So let's get started. Okay, under the content browser, I created this folder named zombie tutorial and I have all the animations that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna have them linked down in the description as well. But let's go ahead and right click new folder and let's call it AI system. Let's open it. And here we're just gonna need two things. We're gonna right click, go to artificial intelligence and create a behavior tree, which I'm gonna call BT underscore zombie. Let's open it up. And here on the details tab, under behavior tree, on the blackboard asset, we're gonna hit none and create new blackboard asset. We're gonna wanna save it under zombie tutorial AI system and we're gonna name it blackboard underscore zombie. Now we're gonna hit this little icon and open it. You should have as default the key self actor, which basically just means the owner of this AI system. We're gonna hit new key of type object and name it target. We're gonna select this key under blackboard details on the key type we're gonna change the base class from object to actor. This is gonna be important for the future, so don't skip this. Also, we're gonna create a new key of type vector, and this one is gonna be named random location. And that's everything regarding the blackboard. Now let's go back to the VT zombie. We're gonna drag from the root and add a selector. And now from this selector, we're gonna get a sequence. And to this sequence, we're gonna right click, add decorator, blackboard we're gonna select the blackboard base condition and on the details tab on observer upwards we're gonna set it to self then the key query is gonna be to is set but the blackboard key is gonna be changed to target so that means that this sequence is only gonna be executed if the target is set which we're gonna get back to that later we can just control c and b the sequence connect it again to the selector and then we select again the blackboard base condition and on the key query we're just going to change it to is not set so this sequence is going to be executed if the target is not valid basically let's start with the sequence when the target is not set this is going to be the find random location so first on the upper bar we're going to hit new task which is going to take us to the ai system because we're creating a new blueprint and we can just call it a bt task find random location and we can save it it should open it but if not it should be here right next to bt zombie once on the task we're going to go ahead to my blueprint functions override and receive execute ai this will trigger whenever you initiate the task we're going to get the control pawn output and connect it to a get actor location the return vector we're going to connect it to get random reachable point in radius for the radius we're going to want something like 2500 and now before continuing we're going to go back to my blueprint create a new variable we're going to name it random location we're going to set it to public with the little eye icon and we're going to change the type from boolean to blackboard key selector remember blackboard key selector you'll see why this is important we're gonna go ahead and drag it onto the event graph get the output and we're gonna connect it to a set blackboard value as vector we're gonna connect the execution to the receive execute ai and the value it's gonna be the random location from the get random reachable point in radius function and after the set blackboard value as vector we're gonna call the finish execute this function is really important because if you don't call it in any of your tasks your task is never gonna end so basically it's never gonna progress in the sequence or the selection okay now we can go back to the bt zombie and now from the sequence from target is not set we're gonna drag it and find bt task find random location okay after we get the task find random location we're gonna select it and random location the variable we're gonna change it to random location from the blackboard so these three variables are the ones that are on the blackboard and then if the random location doesn't pop up maybe you should just come back to the task compile and save and then it should pop up okay after the bt task find random location we're gonna call another one from that sequence which is called move to this task is default from the engine so you should be able to find it okay now we select the move to go to the details tab blackboard key instead of self actor it's gonna be a random location and then let's make a little bit more space and then from here we can just hit another default function which is called wait and let's say three seconds and after that it should repeat all over again so how the behavior tree works is that from the root everything is gonna go from left to right so the difference between a selector and a sequence is that the selector as long as any of the children succeed the selector is gonna succeed and on the sequence if one of the child fails the whole sequence is gonna fail so have that in mind like in this case the task find random location is first because we first want to set the random location then move to that random location and after that wait for that time if we were to move them like this the move to is not gonna be null 
because it doesn't have any random location then it's going to set the random location and then it's going to have you wait but since this one it's already going to fail it's just going to send you in a giant loop so make sure to have your move to after your find random location and why do we have the blackboard base condition this one means that if the target changes for any reason let's say you start seeing the target or the ai starts seeing the target it's gonna go into this other sequence which is the target is set and it's gonna board this one so basically it's gonna fail the whole sequence and it's gonna jump into this other sequence but in reality everything is going from left to right so first it's checking if the target is set if it's not set then it's gonna start doing this one but if it's set then it's gonna start doing this one since the beginning okay now let's move on when the target is set let's make a little bit more space so this one it's a little bit more simple let's drag the sequence node and call the task move to select the move to task and on the details step on the blackboard key instead of self actor it's gonna be target and then for the attack we're gonna have to create a new task so let's go to the upper bar new task bt task blueprint base and let's set the name to bt task attack so let's do the same under my blueprint functions override receive execution ai okay with the event receive execute we're gonna get the control pong and type the function get component by class the component class is gonna be a skeletal mesh component the return value we're gonna connect it to an is valid this one with the question mark the execution from the execute it's going to go into the execution of the is valid. And now if the skeletal mesh component is valid, we're going to get the return value and call the function play montage. It should connect in a skeletal mesh component. Now connect the execution from the play montage to the is valid. And the montage to play is going to be the zombie attack montage. Now we're going to get the uncompleted execution pin and connect it to finish execute. In this case, it's going to be the success true. We're going to copy and paste the same function, finish execute. But now we're going to connect it to the uninterrupted and the success is going to be false. So this one means that the execution was fully completed. This one means it failed. Okay, now let's go back to the behavior tree. Remember, compile and save. And after the move to from the first sequence, we're going to call the BT task attack. And we're done with the behavior tree. It should work perfectly. But now we're going to set up everything on the zombie character. So in this case, I already have a blueprint of type character i also have the animation remember everything is going to be linked down in the description the animations in raw if you want to build the animation blueprint since the beginning or also the u assets okay so first things first we're going to add a new component which name is ai perception this one is also as well an engine default component so you must be able to find it okay now we're going to open the event graph under the event begin play we're going to call the function run behavior tree remember if it's not there disable context sensitive the behavior tree is going to be bt zombie and for the target we're going to get a reference to self and then from the self output we're going to get the function get ai controller now the return value is going to go into the target of the run behavior tree after run behavior tree we're going to call the function set timer by function name and on the function name it's going to be update target make sure to capture the name correctly and check where you use uppercase and lowercase because this name is going to be important now for the time we're going to set it to 0.1 and we're going to check the looping option okay now under my blueprint we're going to go to functions create a new one and we're going to call the same name as the name on the set timer by function name in this case it's update target with u as capital letter and t also as capital letter okay now first things first under my blueprint we're going to create a variable which we're going to name player of type actor okay so first we're going to drag player onto the event graph of type get right click it and convert to validator get this one we're gonna plug it into the update target and first we're gonna go with the pad if it's not valid if it's not valid we're gonna connect it to the macro for each loop now for the array we're gonna get the ai perception of type get and call the function get known perceive actors the out actors is gonna be the array then again we're gonna get the player variable of type get convert it to a validated get and connect it to the loop body and also if this one is not valid we're going to plug it into a branch the condition for the branch is going to be from the array element and we're going to get the function actor hashtag the tag is going to be player which we're going to add later onto the player and the return value should be the condition if the condition hits true then we're going to get the player variable of type set connected to a true and the player it's going to go onto the array element then we're going to get another player variable of type of get again convert to validated get connect the execution pin with the completed pin from for each loop now we're going to get a reference to self from the self we're going to get the ai controller function and from the return value we're going to get the variable blackboard also right click and convert to validated get then we're going to get the is valid from the validated player and connect it onto the blackboard now from the blackboard pin we're going to get the function set value as object make sure this is this one set value as object now the key name we're going to call the function make little name on the value it's going to be target this is case sensitive so make sure that you name it the same as the 
blackboard key which as you can see it's target and here on the zombie it's also target and for the object value we're gonna get the player variable and set here the object value now we compile and this should be ready now before testing we're gonna go back to the components tab the ai perception component and on the details tab under ai perception the census comfy we're gonna add an array element and change it from none onto ai side comfy this is just the setting for the side sense as you can see the side radius is gonna be 3000 and the lost sight radius is going to be 3500. The sight radius means how far he can detect you and the lost sight radius means how far you have to be in order to lose him. The peripheral or vision you can leave it at 90 but I like to crank it up to 180 to make the zombie to see me easier. We're going to drop down this detection by affiliation and we're going to set everything because I'm not sure how it works so maybe sometimes it's going to detect you as friend and we don't want that. Another important setting is this max age. Let's set it something like five. This means that after five seconds, when he lost sight of you, he's going to go back onto the random state. Now let's compile, save, go back to the third person level. And before dropping your character here on the top bar, we're going to add a volume, more specifically a nav mesh volume. This one is going to make the navigation for our AI. So let's just set the scale to something like 100 and that should cover everything. We can hit P in order to see what's the navigation gonna be like. All the green area is where the AI is gonna be able to walk on. Okay, now let's go ahead, drop the AI. And first we're gonna simulate to see how it moves to a random location whenever the player is not active. As you can see, it's gonna be there. It waits three seconds and then it moves to the next one. As like I said, this is completely random. I don't know where he's patrolling. If you wanna a patrolling tutorial, leave it on the comments. But this is fully random. It's just gonna be a point in the 2500 radius from the character location. Okay, and before testing with the player, there's something I forgot. Let's go ahead and open our third person character. In my case, your guys' case might be your character. Under the details tab, we're gonna look for tag. Under actor advanced tag, add a new one and type player. Remember, this is the one that we set for the update target on the BP zombie player. Now it should follow us and play the attack montage whenever it reaches us. As you can see, the AI there is there. Now it comes, attacks me, and now it's going to start following us. Like I said, the actual attack is not working because we didn't set it like that. But you can always just go ahead and check my other tutorials. I invite you to check my other tutorials. But as you can see, it works perfectly. I'm not sure if it will work on multiplayer, but that's everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. Remember all the animations as you assets and also as regular animations are going to be linked down in the description. And if you don't know how to import you assets, just look it up on YouTube. It should be really easy and quick. And I'll see you in the next one.